So if we didn't have them, then they have a detrimental effect on us. For more than a decade, bees around the world have been dying in record numbers. In the U.S. alone, beekeepers have witnessed the number of beehives half from 5 million in 1988 to 2.5 million in 2016. The thing we're looking at at the moment is with um, habitat loss. That's one of the worst things that the bees um, suffer from. So with sort of urbanization, with buildings going up um, and land being taken away and with intensive farming, um, all the meadows and wild grasses and things like that are just disappearing. So the bees need that in order to pollinate, and we certainly need it in order for them to pollinate. And it's not just honeybees, there's solitary bees, bumblebees, um, and other insects do pollination as well. Pesticides and disease have also had an effect, but one of the most recent reasons for this rapid decline is climate change. So what climate change does is it doesn't just make the average temperatures warmer, it increases the frequency of extreme weather. And what that means is that in droughts, and heat waves, the availability of nectar and flowers for bees is massively reduced. And that's probably the main mechanism by which climate change and extreme weather lead to uh, declines in bee populations. Approximately one third of everything we eat is a direct result of their hard work. And changes to habitats will eventually harm both the pollinators and the harvest of crops globally. Bees, that is honeybees and wild bees, are believed to contribute around $14 billion to the US economy. That's the value of the extra yield we get from the crops as a result of pollination. The worry is that fewer bees means that certain crops and certain wildflowers will not get pollinated. So we could have what's called a pollination deficit. Pollination deficit would mean lower yields of the fruits and the oil seeds that require pollination. And this is kind of a, a, a sort of an Armageddon scenario. As humans, we could probably cope with it and start doing a bit more um, research into uh, bringing on fruit and seeds, but that's not the way we should be doing it. We should be doing it naturally. Steps have been taken to try and halt the decline. In 2014, then-President Barack Obama signed a memorandum that gave five states $8 million in incentives to establish habitats for the honeybees to thrive off of. But as climate change continues to bring temperature rises across the globe, time is running out to prevent the planet being stung by more bees dying.